Hello, before we get started, please smash that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified of future videos. AI is a broad term that applies to many different types of computer systems and software, all working together to help devices think more like humans do. AI-powered robots seem like something out of science fiction. They can walk and talk, see and hear the world around them just as we do. They're also becoming more popular in our homes. Disk vacuum cleaners and personal robot helpers are already available on the market. Driverless cars are being tested by several major automakers. Intelligence assistance is making its way into phones and chatbots now provide customer service for some of our favorite brands. As this technology continues to advance, it's important to explore not only what AI will be able to accomplish in the future, but also how we can ensure it is implemented responsibly. The term artificial intelligence was coined by computer scientist John McCarty back in 1956 when he held the first ever conference on the subject at Dartmouth College. At this event, researchers shared ideas about how to make computers think. Five years later, and after several advancements in computing, Marvin Minsky and another group of scientists published a book titled Perceptrons that described early neural networks, one of the first signs that machines might be able to mimic human thought processes. Today's modern AI draws inspiration from the concept proposed by these scientists. However, there are significant differences between their research and contemporary systems like deep learning, which use algorithms to process information instead of simple neural nets. On a deeper level, the term artificial intelligence often brings to mind images of robots and androids like those depicted in popular culture. They may understand language, they may possess emotions, and perhaps most famously, they may look like humans, but do not think like us. AI is the technology that enables devices to think and act like humans. While human intelligence can be difficult to define, most would agree that it is a function of our brains, who we are as individuals. As such, there is no single algorithm or rule set that defines intelligence. Imagine if Siri were able to learn about how you work and what your interests are, you could ask her to recommend restaurants during business trips or play music at a party. AI is able to accomplish these things through machine learning, which gives the software the ability to learn and improve over time as it gets exposed to more information or data. The goal of AI research has always been for machines to demonstrate intelligence that compares or exceeds human capability, but scientists differ on what this actually means. For some, it's creating systems that can think like humans. For others, it's simply about building better models than those we had in the past, ones that perform tasks we currently need humans to complete. Today's modern AI draws inspiration from an idea proposed by researchers at Dartmouth College decades ago. There are significant differences between their research and contemporary systems like deep learning, which use algorithms instead of simple neural nets. Both narrow AI and general AI are used throughout the world today. However, there is one more AI I will cover later in this video. Narrow AI is implemented in everyday devices like smartphones, televisions, thermostats, cars, virtual assistants, like Siri or Cortana, smart speakers, like Alexa, drones, intelligent lighting systems, and manufacturing robots. General artificial intelligence, or what some consider strong AI, exists primarily in lab settings for proof-of-concept demonstrations that show what's possible. It is often difficult to justify why these systems should cost millions of dollars when it can be demonstrated that they can't think for themselves yet. Although this type of project isn't always commercially viable at this time due to lack of funding or market opportunities, projects like DeepMind's AlphaGo, which beat the world's best Go player, could pave the way for similar accomplishments in other games or knowledge-intensive tasks that may one day translate into improved real-world applications. As mentioned before in this video, technologists often say AI began with the first computer algorithm designed to solve a specific task and most would pinpoint 1956 as the birth of artificial intelligence. This was when a young researcher named John McCarty coined the term artificial intelligence at a conference in Dartmouth College and proposed what we now know as strong AI machines that think like humans. From gear, we see how advancements were made thanks to researchers like Claude Shannon, who defined an algorithmic method of representing information called Boolean logic that laid the foundation for modern computing. 
Then, John McCarty was responsible for developing the field of artificial intelligence as we know it today through his development of AI programs during the 1950s and 1960s. Still, there have been some notable milestones throughout history. There are several major areas where AI has evolved over time to accomplish tasks previously requiring human involvement. These include robotics, computer vision, natural language processing, NLP, and machine learning ML. The earliest robots were used in factories with repetitive tasks such as welding or painting. They can perform these jobs faster than humans but couldn't respond to changes in their environment. Researchers began developing intelligent machines in the 60s by creating robotic arms that could perform basic pick-and-place tasks in manufacturing facilities. Because these systems could perform basic physical tasks, they soon made their way out of factories and into a wider range of applications over the past few decades including healthcare, education, entertainment, and more. The earliest machine vision technologies relied on pre-made algorithms for detecting edges in an image to determine where objects begin and end. But this wasn't enough to enable object recognition in real time. Researchers began developing neural networks to analyze visual information from digital images by emulating how neurons communicate with each other in the brain. Invented by Yan LeCun, one of Facebook AI chief scientists today. Convolutional neural networks have been responsible for major advancements during the last few years since researchers figured out how to train these systems on large datasets. This emerging technology is now making its way into consumer-ready applications like Siri's visual search that can identify physical objects in images, Facebook's image recognition for enhancing user experiences, or Snapchat's lenses, which lets you overlay interactive graphics onto your face using augmented reality. All of this wouldn't be possible without the advancement of deep learning, an advanced form of machine intelligence that uses multiple layers of neural networks to detect lower-level patterns in an image and gradually build up to identifying higher-level concepts. Today, natural language processing can help power Apple's Siri or Amazon's Echo, which both enable voice control features to help users perform tasks or access information simply by speaking into the home assistant. The advanced intelligence behind deep learning allows these devices to understand contexts in speech and will eventually allow EOT devices to communicate with one another automatically and without human intervention. The final major area where AI has evolved over time is machine learning, ML, the ability for machines to improve their capabilities through experience. Before deep learning, Researchers mostly used machine learning to train AI systems on large datasets with strictly labeled data, which is still an essential part of AI development today. Once deep learning was introduced in the 90s, researchers were able to apply it to text, images, audio video and other forms of unstructured content that were believed too complex for traditional ML techniques. This allowed them to create more powerful ML algorithms capable of processing larger amounts of data fed into neural networks with hidden layers between input and output nodes. The latest example of ML advancements can be seen in driverless cars being developed by Google's Waymo division, which are already navigating public roads in Arizona and California without human assistance. Google researchers have spent years developing machine learning algorithms that can identify moving objects like pedestrians, other vehicles, or obstacles in the road by combing through enormous datasets of recorded images taken from cameras mounted on top of driverless cars. The intelligence behind these advanced ML systems allows self-driving cars to better detect objects using visual sensors without human input, just like how deep learning enables computers to understand natural language. As AI develops, they will be capable of performing one task far more efficiently than humans ever could be combined with systems that are able to adapt subsequently as they encounter new challenges. We're already seeing AI used today to improve human efficiency across a wide range of industries such as healthcare, finance, and education. We're also seeing AI used to augment humans by enabling computers to learn from their users over time through the implementation of deep learning and machine learning algorithms. Also in this developmental phase, AI is left alone to improve their own capabilities autonomously and communicate with one other without human input, letting them collaborate as humans do. By delivering this new phase in automation technology, 
we'll see an explosion in AI innovation driven by increased computing power and better algorithms designed specifically for these types of systems. As the future is here, the potential benefits of AI are endless. Manufacturers are able to create smarter appliances, smart factories, and automated warehouses, which can all communicate with one another seamlessly in real time. This type of technology could save the manufacturing industry billions of dollars a year. It would also see smaller companies benefit from increased productivity and efficiency, as they wouldn't require as many employees to perform their daily tasks. In terms of healthcare, we're already seeing how AI can be used to help diagnose cancers or other serious diseases by processing large amounts of data, such as patients' medical records and test results, so doctors don't have to. This frees them up to spend more time on direct patient care, instead of doing paperwork. In as much, artificial intelligence, AI, is software that enables devices to think and act like humans. AI can give computers the power of human perception, as well as help them problem-solve, monitor gases like methane in the air, and be used to recognize faces in photos. AI is most often associated with robotics, machine vision, big data analytics, advanced algorithms, and autonomous cars. Smart technologies like AI have transformed our lives. However, they can also bring new problems like robots that don't serve human purposes. Like it or not AI is here and is here to stay. If you like this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell to be notified of new videos and I'll see you at the next video. Thanks for watching.